All right, I think we are officially at 9 p.m. Eastern. We're ready to get started tonight. We have two new release products today. They're both from Leaf. They're both football. Who knows why Leaf does the weird stuff they do? Uh, but for whatever reason, they decided to give us two <laughs> on the same night for the same sport. So guess what? We're just going to open them both. I am trying right now to get my spreadsheet to cooperate so I can give you that information and it just keeps sitting there telling me not responding, not responding, like I have no idea why. I think that's really kind of weird. Um, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a Monday, isn't it? But as soon as the stupid spreadsheet uh, program will work and I can get it open, then, you know, yeah, we'll start moving along. But it's just I know so we're gonna try it again right now and see what happens anyway so here's what we're opening tonight we can talk about that valiant football is going to be the first thing that we open tonight and the second thing will be ultimate football valiant football of course is one of those that uh has the graded card, one graded card in every box, so always look forward to that. Cannot get Excel to cooperate. Brother mercy, I have uh, never seen it quite this bad before. And I don't know what it is doing, so we're just going <laughs> to... Oh, sorry, guys. I mean, like, I don't know what it is doing, but maybe it's, it's given me now. It's opened like seven times with all kinds of weird crap and... Clearly, it is not going to be our, my friend tonight, is it? Anyway, we're going to pick one of the seven and use it and uh, get moving here. There we go. So, feedback automated 100%. That is done just so you never, ever have to wait on me. Anytime you leave positive feedback from me, you will instantly get the same in return. The second thing is thank you tonight for your patience while we played around with Excel there for a couple minutes. And also, uh, as always, thank you for bidding, breaking, chatting, etc. Always glad to have you join me on this home run derby night, no less. We are taking a look now at breaks that are coming up. So this stuff is already listed on eBay. We're going to be breaking it uh, over the next few days. Tomorrow night, we're going to open a half case of TriStar Autographed Mini Football Helmets. Five boxes make up a half case of that. We will also open the last 12-box case I have of Chronicles Basketball. So that's Tuesday night. Wednesday, we got a lot of new releases Wednesday. We're going to open uh, some of everything. We'll open a full 20-box case of Topps Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition. I, a one box break of Diamond Icons Baseball, that high, high end product. We know how that goes. And then, of course, a half case of Gold Standard Football all on Wednesday night. On Thursday night, we're going to open the fourth and final case of Elite Football. On Friday night, it'll be a five box case of TriStar Game Day Greats Autograph Football jerseys on that night. Valiant Football will be again on Friday night, and we'll open another box of Diamond Icons Baseball. On Saturday, another five-box half-case of our autograph mini helmets. And then we're going to open an eight-box half-case of Stadium Club Baseball. And those are loose boxes from a shared case, just by the way. Some people care about that. Some people don't. If you're one that does, that's the deal. This is the order we're breaking in tonight. Valiant Football first. Ultimate Football is second. I'm expecting everything we open tonight to ship out to you approximately Thursday. Uh, if I can get it out faster than that, I will. If something unexpected happens, it could end up being Friday. Right now, I'm projecting it to be Thursday. If your team uh, gets skunked in either of these breaks tonight, you will still get a package in the mail. It will have consolation cards in it, so everybody's going to get something headed your way regardless. So first up is our 12-box case of 2019 Valiant Football. It is a full case break. This is break number one. Of course, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay Monday night, the 8th of July, if you can believe it. And team names, of course, on the left-hand side are winning bidders across from on the right. The Falcons had no bids in here. I'm wondering if maybe that means the Falcons don't have a hit in here, and if that turns out to be the case, I'll go in that out of, we've already got another break of the scheduled, I think. If that turns out to be the case, I'll go in that auction, of course. 
And then somebody else sent me a message that I didn't see until right before uh, I was getting ready to, to come in here and get the break going about another team they have a question about. So, guys, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But if there is another team in here that doesn't have hits, of course, uh, I would take care of that for you and would make sure that those listings get ended for future uh, breaks because obviously, you know, we don't want to list spots for something that literally has no option in the product. So, but this is the first night for it, so I don't know the answers to all that yet, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out as we go along. Hi, Rodney. Oh, Rodney, you got the Raiders in both breaks tonight. Right on, brother. <laughs> you were on it tonight, weren't you? On it. And Dawn is here. Hi, Dawn. How are you tonight, Dawn? How are things going for you? Well, I hope. So I'm going to go through a process here of taking all the plastic off and Leaf puts these little seals on both ends. So I'm going to take all the plastic off. I'm going to cut all these seals while uh, we're talking here for a minute because I like to just have everything sort of ready to go at the time that, you know, we start opening. I just like to keep going once we do. So one thing that you need to know is that everybody in here, they're in their college uniforms. I, th I imagine everybody knows that. Um, or even if they're in their NFL uniform, it's airbrushed because Leaf doesn't hold the license. Only Panini does, so they can't show official team logos or put official team names and that sort of thing. So what we know about it is this. They're going to go to their current team. So if these guys were drafted, that's easy. It's going to go to the team that drafted them. If they did not get drafted, but they did sign a deal for, I don't really even care what, rookie camp, mini camp, I don't even care if they signed a deal, frankly, if they, if they got accepted to a rookie camp or a mini camp and they are, have not subsequently been associated with another team, it will go to whatever team they are currently or most recently associated with. The idea, of course, is we want to find a home for all these cards. We don't want to leave these guys, you know, hanging out there as undrafted, you know, blah, blah, blah. If, in fact, we do find somebody who has not been drafted and not signed any deals or been to any mini camps or anything at all, then, of course, we would have to use random.org to give it out. So that's kind of how that's going to work. Valiant is pretty awesome. They make this in uh, football. They make it in baseball as well. And the very cool thing about it is that one of our cards in here is going to be graded. And not only is it going to be graded, it's going to be graded 9.5 or higher. And we certainly have pulled some black label tins out of these products before. So that's not outside the realm of possibility either. Then in addition to our graded card, we're going to find three other Valiant autograph cards as well. So we're talking four hits per box. And they already have them in top loaders and sleeves if they're not graded. And of course, if they're graded, we know what they come in. Either way, they're always uh, in really good shape, well protected and ready to go. So... Rodney, you sniped them both. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Don, you said it's not too hot in New York. Well, man, you might be the only place in the country that's not too hot. My gracious, it is hot here. <laughs> Walk outside for five seconds and, whew, it was instant sweat. Glenn, you have got the 49ers, the Redskins, and the Browns. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can find. So we're going to start off here with... Miles Gaskin, he is numbered to 10. So like, that's one thing I did not mention, but guys, a lot of these cards are numbered. A lot of them are kind of low numbered, so that's all good stuff. Miles Gaskin, I never remember this guy. I hope I have him written down somewhere. I can never ever uh, remember where this guy goes. I want to say that he is a dolphin. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I may have to look that one up. It's been a while since I've broken 
Leaf stuff where I have to think about the teams. DeAndre Baker is numbered to 75, and DeAndre is what? DeAndre Baker is a giant. We have a little one-of-one one printing plate coming out early out of this case, and it is, um, who is it? Devin Singletary. I couldn't read that there for a second. <laughs> Devin Singletary is the Bills. And Damian Harris, you know I like Damian Harris, uh, kid from Kentucky, nine, not Kentucky University of, state of, 9.5 card grade, 10 on the autograph grade, it is numbered to 50, that first graded card we've seen heads out to the Patriots. Jay Klein says, my memory's not as, not as bad as I thought it was, I'm paraphrasing, he basically just told me Gaskins is a dolphin that I got that one right. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, guys, my memory on these, it's like when I was opening it all the time, I could remember them super easy, and then it's been a little while and I forget. This is Jalen Jelks. It is numbered to 25, and Jalen is a cowboy that's followed up by Caleb Wilson. That is, I think, whatever you see right there, that is either on the card or it is something inside the top loader. It's not outside, whatever it is. And that Caleb Wilson to 20 heads to the Cardinals. A.J. Brown, Redemption, headed to the Titans. And our graded card here is Jordan Scarlet. And it is graded to a pristine 10 for the card. It is a 10 for the autograph. It is numbered to 25 so Jordan Scarlet with uh, not a black label 10 but still a, a 10 all around a nice little hit for the Panthers then we have Riley Ridley Riley's headed to Chicago Bears number 250 and then we have uh, Tyree Brady to 50 Tyree I gotta look up I know I wrote him down somewhere He's the Jags. And Jarrett Stidham. Nice little hit for the Patriots. Number to 75. Our graded card is Irv Smith Jr. Irv is numbered to 10. Our graded to 10 for the card and the autograph. It is numbered to 75. And Herb Smith Jr., I want to say he's a Viking, but then I also have Colts in the back of my head, so let's just look it up. <laughs> Viking, I was right the first time. All right. So, see, I should just stick to my intuition, right? That would be the better, the better course of action, probably. Zach Allen, numbered to 75. Zach is a Cardinal. Behind that, we have a little Keyshawn Johnson. Keyshawn is numbered to 75. And Keyshawn here is the Cardinals. Had to look at him real quick. DK Metcalf. We don't have to wonder about him. That's headed to the Seattle Seahawks. It's numbered to 50. Clayton Thorson. That's a cool looking card. Rising Stock is our card set. It is graded to 9.5. Autograph grade to 10. Card is numbered to 50. I think Clayton Thorson is maybe a Bengal, but let's double check that. I am wrong. He's an Eagle. Clayton Thorson is the Eagles. Philadelphia. Hi, Bentley. How are things going for you tonight? Well, I hope. And there's Daryl Henderson, number 75, Rams. Devin Singletary out again for the Bills, number 50. A little Drew Locke for the Broncos, number 10, no less. Nice little hit there for Denver. Our graded card is Deontay Thompson. And that heads to the Arizona Cardinals. 9.5 is our card grade. Autograph grade is to 10. And the card is numbered to 5. Woohoo! Like those low numbers, baby. So I don't know if any of you guys were watching the Home Run Derby. I was while I was working on other stuff, getting the break ready. Vlad Guerrero Jr., man, that kid launched... 
some crazy number of home runs. Like, I don't know, what was it? Like, in, in the 20s, David Montgomery to 10 for the Bears. Like, 29, is that right? Is that what he hit? Maybe. Miles Sanders to 10. That is an eagle. Dwayne Haskins. Woohoo! Redemption for the Redskins. And our graded card is Trayvon or Travion Williams. It is 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade. It is numbered to 50. And there I have one I can send to the Bengals. <laughs> Rodney, he says three out of four of the Alabama players have been pulled all but his Josh Jacobs. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. We got like a lot, a lot. Look how much we've got to go, man. We're, we're going to try and find him. We're going <laughs> to find him. Quinnen Williams, um, you know what, Don? I don't know. I have not had a chance to look at the, at the, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, whew, the checklist on the Leaf website. Karen Higdon to 50 comes out next. But as I mentioned before, if there are any teams in here that have no possibilities, I will take care of you uh, after the fact. Just, you know, I've got to look it up. I know the Jets was one. Somebody did ask me a question about it. It might have been you, Don. Uh, undrafted free agent for the Texans uh, was Karen Higdon that we just looked at. Meanwhile, here comes Deontay Johnson, number 25, bringing one home for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Will Greer and the Panthers, numbered to 50. And then we have, for our graded card, Jamarius Way. Cards to 9.5, autographed to 10, and it is numbered to 75 for Jamarius Way. And I got to look that up, kids. I wrote that down because I can't ever remember that one. Packers. So, Jamarius is the Packers. Yeah, I wanted to say, I thought, I mean, we've pulled Quinn and Williams out of some preseason stuff, but honestly, I have no idea if it was out of Panini stuff or if it was out of Leaf stuff. And although, frankly, sometimes Leaf does change up their checklist from one product to another. They didn't used to, but last year they did a little bit, so I guess anything is possible. That is Brian Burns for the Panthers. Followed by Ryan Finley, numbered to 50. What was Brian Burns number two? Hang on. Brian Burns was to 75. Then comes Ryan Finley to 50, and that is headed to the Cincinnati Bengals. Followed by Nicole Hartman. Hey, hey. Kansas City Chiefs, number 215, headed to Kansas City. Our autograph card, oh baby, I should say our graded card, they're all autographed. Look at that handsome, handsome card. That is Kyler Murray, 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade. It is number 225, Arizona Cardinals knocking one out with Kyler Murray. Uh, PJ's like, where are all my Ravens? They have like six guys in this product. I don't know, man. Hopefully they're going to be here in one of these last few boxes that we've got to look at, right? That's what we got to hope for. There is LJ Scott. It is numbered to 50 for LJ. And he is a Raven, by the way. Speaking of, he's an undrafted free agent that uh, goes to the Ravens. Kyle Shermer makes an appearance. Kyle Shermer is numbered to 25 and heads to the Chiefs. He was another UDFA. There's your Josh Jacobs. You've been worried, Rodney. He's in here for you. Right there's your man for the Raiders, numbered to 75. Our graded card is Brian Burns. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade, numbered to 50. For Brian Burns and the Panthers. Now see, we're eventually, we're working our way through bring, finding, finding your guys' uh, Ravens and Raiders. We're getting there, slowly but surely. 
Jalen Smith, that is numbered to 20. Jalen is an undrafted free agent for the Ravens. Trayvon Williams, numbered to 15. And Trayvon Williams is a Bengal. And this is Daniel Jones. Nice to five. Oh, Giants. You may not have found him very often, but you found a good one, numbered to five. Stanley Morgan, Jr., our card is graded to 9.5. Our autograph graded to 10. It is numbered to 75. And dear old Stanley is an undrafted free agent for the Bengals. All right. We now have Gary Jennings Jr. Seahawks to 20. Followed by... Chikai. Chikai is a jet. Ha ha. Number to 25. There are jets in here. Yay. See, I kind of thought there were some jets, but then I wasn't going to say like there's no jets if you said there were no jets on the checklist because I hadn't had time to look at it. But yeah, so Chikai, he's a jet. So you're in good shape, Don. Benny Snell Jr. Number to 75, coming from my University of Kentucky Wildcats, going to my Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm a little bit in love with that card. Little Jordan Humphrey, headed to the Saints. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade. It is number 250. <laughs> Rodney says, of course, there's a Benny Snell. <laughs> I know, because you guys know I love my, my UK guys. So Josh Allen, of course. You know, to the Jags, Benny Snell, to the Steelers. I, I love pulling my uh, my UK my UK guys. David Sills, that is numbered to 75 for the Buffalo Bills. Stanley Morgan Jr. out again for the Bengals to 25. Nikhil Harry, hey, hey, making the Patriots a little happier, numbered to 50. And our last graded card is David Montgomery. The Bears, 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade, and the card is numbered to 10. So that makes uh, life happy for David Montgomery and the Bears. Oh, Don, you were just thinking about Quinn and Williams. You forgot about Ja'Kai. Yeah, you know what? These rookies, sometimes it's hard to remember what all your who all your team has, right? <laughs> all right, so to recap this, we're just going to kind of buzz through them fairly quickly uh, in the recap because otherwise, you know what, it'd be just like doing the break again since they're all hits. So we'll just do a quick little pass through here for anyone who might have jumped in part of the way through. But all in all, pretty good case. I mean, we pulled Haskins and Locke and Kyler Murray and I mean, most of our Daniel Jones, most of our quarterback prospects came out. A lot of our heavy hitter guys that you would want and expect to see came out. That we will look at the back of this one because it is a nice little one of one. Devin Singletary there for the Bills. And then let's take a pass at our graded cards. So David Montgomery, 9.5. Little Jordan Humphrey, 9.5. Stanley Morgan Jr., 9.5. Yeah, you follow the trend. <laughs> They're all 9.5 or higher. So 9.5 for Brian Burns. Kyler Murray, 9.5. Jamarius Way, same as. And Travion Williams, same as. Deontay Thompson, imagine that, another 9.5. Followed by Clayton Thorson, same as. Woohoo! The number to 10 is Irv Smith Jr. Number to 10 is Jordan Scarlett and a 9.5 Damian Harris. All right, so that is our first case of Valiant. We'll be opening this again over the weekend. I should have worked it in again sooner, and I don't know, I didn't with so much stuff coming out Wednesday. But I have probably five, maybe six cases of Valiant. So we've got plenty of Valiant that we'll be opening over the course of the next uh week or 10 days and I'll try to you know get them listed at a little faster clip going forward 
So that's going to bring us next into Ultimate Football. And for those of you who might not have caught this earlier, I am expecting both things that were opening tonight to ship out on the way to you, hopefully Thursday. Uh, and there's always the possibility that could slide to Friday if something unexpected happens in the week. Right now I'm projecting Thursday, but Thursday, Friday-ish. Uh, same as the last product. If your team gets skunked in here, if your team has hits in the product and gets skunked, you are going to still get a package in the mail. It's going to have consolation cards in it. If there is a team in here that has no hits that I was unaware of, that it had no hits, then, of course, uh, I would take care of you after the fact. But hopefully we're not going to have any of those. But every once in a while, you know, Leaf will do something weird to me. So this is a 10-box case of Ultimate Football, break number one. Also ended tonight on eBay, of course, Monday night, the 8th of July. And Ultimate Football, man, we don't have hardly any of it. They made, like, next to none. <laughs> it was a really, really short print product. And there's not a lot of it out there. It's, in fact, the shortest print run of any of the Leaf Football products of the entire year is Ultimate. So I actually was expecting a little more than what I got. So I've got to try to track down and find out kind of where the the gap is, why I didn't get kind of everything I was expecting to get. So uh, right now, as it stands, we're only going to have like a couple of cases, maybe two and a half cases or something like that, unless I can find this, uh, this other one that I thought we were going to have, but... But yet I don't. Oh, Don, you got to put the kids to bed? All right, man. Well, have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm sorry we didn't find Quinnen for you, but I'm glad we at least found somebody for you with Jakai. So this is going to be the same thing that I just did with the last product, right? We're going to uh, cut the plastic, cut the seals, get all that done first. Once that has been done on all the boxes, then we'll kind of just roll right on through them. That way we can delay our gratification all at the top. <laughs> and then once we get going, it won't be quite so... Uh, you know, we'll have to wait so long in between and all that stuff. In here, we don't have any graded cards, but we do have five hits per box. So there's more hits, just not any of them graded. And there are cards in here with multiple signatures this time. Now normally in Leaf, you don't really find too much in the way of multi-signed cards. But guess what? We do this year. See, see them right there. There's one on the box. So Ultimate uh, proves, hopefully, to uh, be fun to break here in a little bit. Once I can get all this stupid packaging out of the way, anyway. And again, Leaf, you know, I'll get some more of this Ultimate listed next week. But there's just... There's really not much of it, but I, I like, I just like know I am missing a case of this somewhere. I should have had another case of this, and I just don't know why I didn't get it. So I'm going to have to track that down and figure that out tomorrow. I should have done that today, except I hadn't opened all the boxes that came in yet. I just had opened part of them, and then later in the evening I got into the rest of them and I'm like hey wait a minute there should be another case here oh Rodney um, Harris and Jacobs have a dual autograph in here oh that would be sweet but what if it's oh but then that would also mean it would have to go to random so there's always that um, anxiety that comes up when when random is involved because it means somebody's not going to get to keep it, right? And they've apparently used top loaders that are li a little too big for these cards. You see them kind of sliding around in there, so that's not quite ideal. 
Dexter Lawrence out first. Dexter, uh, of course, is a giant. It is number 25 up there in the upper right-hand corner. Deontay Thompson is out next. That's the Cardinals. It is number 10. Tyree Brady is number 10. And Tyree is the Jags. Zach Allen is numbered to 20. And Zach, what is Zach? Where's Zach go? We just had him and I can't remember. Cardinals. And speaking of dual autographs, how about Draymond Jones and Nick Bosa on a little dual signature? And is that numbered? That's got to be numbered somewhere. Is it numbered on the back? How is that not numbered? Well, it's not, I guess. But anyway... Um, Nick Bosa, of course, is the 49ers. Draymond Jones. Do I know where Draymond Jones goes? Let's see if I have him written down anywhere. Broncos. Draymond Jones is a Bronco. So Broncos and 49ers both on this card. And these are sticker autographs. So I'm going to say that's probably the first time we've seen something other than an on-card autograph out of leaf. So one would assume then that uh, that's going to be the deal. When they're duels, they're going to be stickers, and otherwise they'll be on card. Numbered to seven, cool-looking card right there. And that, of course, is Clayton Thorson. We just saw Clayton in our last product as well. He's an eagle. And there's Mr. Draymond Jones that we just saw in the dual autograph. It is numbered to 20. And, of course, I just had to look him up. He's a Bronco. Kyle Kempt. He is numbered to 7. This guy was undrafted, and he hadn't signed any deals, but he did get, I think, invited to or went to a mini camp or a tryout camp or something with the Saints. And to the best of my knowledge, that's the only team he's been affiliated with so he's going to go to the Saints, unless I find otherwise, unless he's, you know, signed with somebody else in the interim that I'm unaware of right now. Johnny Dixon, that is numbered to 10, and good old Johnny Dixon is uh, an undrafted free agent for the Texans. There's that Daniel Jones, and it's a one of one. Oh, nice. Right? So the Giants with a one of one Daniel Jones. You can't get much better than that if you've got the Giants tonight. Bentley, you need some Irv Smith. All right, let's try to get your Vikings on track here then tonight. See if we can't get some of them to come out of here and, and make an appearance for you. Caleb Wilson, number to 10. Arizona Cardinals, Jarrett Stidham, numbered to 10 for the Patriots, Devin White to 15, Devin is uh, the Bills, here comes A.J. Brown, and A.J. Brown, numbered to 7, heads to the Tennessee Titans, Devin White is a Buccaneer, by the way, guys, I blew that. Devin White, I was thinking of somebody else completely, and it just hit me after I already said it and set it down. <laughs> Devin White is Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That was my fault. Sorry. And A.J. Brown, of course, is the Titans. Uh, that one I said correctly. And Rodney, you caught that too. Rodney's like, hey, <laughs> White's Buccaneers. Yes, you are right. I was wrong. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. Sorry. Marquise Hollywood Brown, number 10, heads to the Ravens. Kay, you need some Steelers. All right, Kay Rudy, let's try and find you some Pittsburgh Steelers in here tonight. Little Jordan Humphrey to 10 for the Saints. Gary Jennings Jr. to 5 for the Seahawks. Miles Boykin, I can never remember this guy. Maybe a raven. It's numbered to 15. Let me look it up. Let's just check it out before I tell you the wrong thing. Miles Boykin, he is a raven. Oh, got one right. Right on target. How about Devin Bush for the Steelers? Numbered to 15. I like that. 
<laughs> Rodney says, don't worry, we'll pull a snail. <laughs> Followed by a nice Dwayne Haskins to 25 for the Redskins. Rodney, you typed in Raven for what are we talking about? Did I call one out incorrectly? Did I call one out wrong again? I don't know. You just typed in Ravens. And there's a little bit of delay from when you type it into when it jumps up. So I'm not sure if you're talking about one I already got out or if I called one wrong. If I did, let me know. Mike Weber for the Cowboys. Number to five for the boys. Followed by one, Trey Lamar. And Trey is numbered to 10. And he goes to the Lions. Followed by Eris Williams. I have absolutely no idea where that goes, or do I? Let me see if I wrote it down. It's numbered to seven. In my head, I have no idea where Eris Williams goes. Let's see if I wrote it on my cheat sheet. Oh, I did. Look at that. He goes to the Colts. Ah, oh, yay. Next up, we have a DeAndre Baker. Little one-of-one one printing plate. That's our second one of one out of this case and both one of ones to the giants how about that and there it is he called it it is benny snell jr <laughs> number to five for the pittsburgh steelers i cannot believe man that both one of ones went to the giants i mean what are the odds of that right Rodney, you said dolphin. You gotta say, all right, you're just like typing in dolphin, raven. You gotta like tell me what's what, man. So like if there's like write the player out. If there's one you have a question about or you think I've said something wrong on, you gotta like write the player out too, man. Cause I don't know which one you're talking about, brother. You gotta help help a poor old person out. <laughs> Clellan Farrell, that is numbered to 25. It's the Raiders. Andy Isabella to 25. That is the Cardinals. Followed by Amani Orawari to 10. And that is the Lions. And then Paris Campbell is the Colts. Nicole Hardman to 5 is for the Kansas City Chiefs. Which dolphin are we talking about, Rodney? You gotta, you gotta, who, who, did I, I don't even remember a dolphin. Did we pull a dolphin and I said he was somebody else? Or are you saying we need to pull a dolphin? You know I'm old and slow and my brain's stuck in a Monday neutral, man. I'm sorry. I don't mind being dense, I guess. Demarcus Lodge, that is numbered to 25. And I don't really know where Demarcus Lodge goes. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's where he goes. Now we know. Brett Ripien, numbered to 20. Brett goes to the Denver Broncos. Devin Singletary. Devin is numbered to 20. He's a Buffalo Bill. That's who I was thinking of on Devin White earlier. Keyshawn Johnson, numbered to 10. And Keyshawn here is um, headed to the Cardinals. We have another dual signature with Trace McSorley and Miles Sanders. So Miles Sanders, of course, is uh, an eagle. And Trace McSorley, I have a hard time remembering him. He's a raven. So we've got uh, ravens and eagles on that duel. It's going to set up there and in our housekeeping area and we will have to use random.org at the end of the break to award both of those between the two teams that are listed well look at that staying lover is here you've been so quiet i didn't think you were here man you were just laying back in the background waiting to pounce <laughs> I'm waiting for your big hit. <laughs> Number to 15, that is Antoine Wesley. And that is undrafted free agent for the Ravens. Elijah Holyfield, numbered to 20, Carolina Panthers. A redemption for Josh Allen. 
Aha, University of Kentucky, too, the Jacksonville Jags. David Sills, numbered to 20, undrafted free agent to the Bills. Nick Bosa, to 20, for the 49ers. <laughs> Staying left where you say when you've been yapping in chat, you haven't been hitting. So you were trying to, like, reverse psychology it tonight. I got gotcha. you. All right, man, I'm with you. Greedy Williams for the Browns, numbered to 25. Christian Wilkins, numbered to 20 for the Dolphins. Jordan Scarlett, numbered to 20. And we just looked up Jordan Scarlett, and I still can't keep him in my head properly. Panthers, Panthers, Panthers. A one-of-one one printing plate for Tyree Brady. That is our third one-of-one one out of this case. And Tyree is a jag. A little Damian Harris redemption that heads to New England, to the Patriots. Oh, no, Bentley, you said you are 0 for 8. So, in other words, you have 8 teams and none of them have gotten a hit? That, oh, man, that doesn't sound like... Is that right? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying, like, you want a particular player and you haven't gotten that particular player? I hope you mean that and not that you haven't gotten any hits. But anyway, we'll try to find it for you here in Last Box Mojo Time. See if we can find it. Jalen Smith. Undrafted for the Ravens. It is numbered to three. Jalen Hurd, numbered 220. And Jalen goes to the 49ers. Justice Hill, numbered to five, goes to the Ravens. Emmanuel Hall, that is numbered to 20. It is undrafted to the Bears. And another dual signature. It is Miko Hardman, who is the Kansas City Chiefs, and Riley Ridley, who is the Bears. That is numbered to five. You can see right there, I finally found where these things are numbered. And this one is numbered to two. So that means this one was probably, no, that one wasn't numbered. Okay, so the first one really wasn't numbered. <laughs> I was like thinking I had missed them all. But now, here's what we got to do, guys. We have to give a home to these three dual signatures. So I'm going to handle it like this. We will type in, um, basically, since all three of these cards are oriented the same way with one team on the top and one team on the bottom, I'm just going to type in top of the card and bottom of the card onto, into random.org. Then I'm going to hit random three different times, which is what I always do when we have nine or fewer items in a list. And the first two times are not going to count. It is the third and final random that will make a determination. So, for instance, if random came up, you know, top player or top of the card, it would go to the team on the top of the card. If it comes up bottom of the card, it's going to go to the, pardon me, the team on the bottom of the card. So that's kind of how we're going to handle uh, random. And we're just going to do it that way that way we don't have to i that way we don't have to hit it uh you know multiple times we can just do random once and it will take care of all three of those simultaneously since they're each oriented the same way all right so good luck to those of you involved in this one here we go you can ignore the first one Ignore the second random. Here comes our third and final. It comes up as the bottom of the card. There you'll see there's our three times and our date and time stamp and all that jazz. Ends up with bottom of the card. So to review, that means this one is going to Nick Bosa and the 49ers. This one goes to Miles Sanders for the Eagles. And this one goes to Riley Ridley and the Bears. All right, so that is uh, that part of the recap since we just did those. Here's the rest of the recap. And guys, we're not going to, you know, read through all of this again because, well, it would be exactly like doing the full break again since everything in here is a hit. But what we are doing is uh, just kind of a quick pitch 
through so that those of you who might have missed something earlier, if you jumped in part of the way, or if, even if you started at the beginning, but you had to walk off for a minute, or, you know, kids are screaming or whatever, this is your chance to get another little look at what is headed your way tonight. So once again, some nice hits delivered. Everything in here was really low numbered, which is in line with the fact that they had such a low case count. I believe he said that there were fewer than 200 cases made. So, I mean, that's an incredibly low print run for a modern day product, as you, as you know, I'm sure that's... Uh, really quite quite low that's why we're getting some nice stuff out of here three one of ones came out of the box uh, obviously the two printing plates and then the daniel jones was the other one of one so all in all a very nice case of ultimate not a lot more of this left but we will break some more of it at the first of the week when uh, we get another get another chance to work some in uh, Tom, you said you just got on. Were there any lions? You know what? I think one of those was a lion, wasn't it, guys? Didn't we have an undrafted free agent or somebody that was a lion? I want to say, I want to say yes, Tom. I wouldn't 100% swear to it because we just looked at so many cards between both products, both Ultimate and Valiant. I wouldn't swear to it, but I think so. And Stang Lover, oh man, you lost the random. <laughs> oh man, I'm so sorry. That sucks, man. We gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta get that fixed for you. Although, you have had, you have won some randoms too, so you don't always lose them. But I do know it's kind of the bane of your existence. I do remember that from from past experience. I'm sorry about that, brother. Always, uh, it's random is great when you win. It's terrible when you lose, right? And we all know that. And finally, we'll take a look here one more time. Shipping information, guys. Projecting it out right now as Thursday. And if possible, uh, I would get it out sooner, although I don't think that's likely at this point. And it could always slide a day later if something unexpected happens. I hope, though, to get it out Thursday. If not Thursday, it would be Friday. And once again, anybody in here whose teams, if you got skunked in here, uh, as long as your team has possible hits in the product, which, you know, if they don't, we'll take care of that. But I think everybody does. Uh, then consolation cards are going to be sent out. So even if you got skunked, you're going to get a package. It'll have consolation cards in it. And you know what? You might have better luck with that. Sometimes people do. And then what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, a half case of autographed mini football helmets and the last full case I have of Chronicles basketball on Wednesday, lots of new releases, a full case of Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition Baseball, uh, one box of the High High End Diamond Icons Baseball, and a half case of Gold Standard Football. On Thursday, we're going to open the fourth and final case I have of Elite Football. On Friday, it's a half case of TriStar, or no, a full case of TriStar Game Day Greats Autograph Football Jerseys. Another one box of Diamond Icons and another case of Valiant Football. On Saturday, a half case of autographed mini football helmets and a half case of Stadium Club that is loose boxes from a shared case. All right, so that is, yeah, that's how we're looking in the days ahead. And uh, Glenn says there was a Lions hit. Okay, great. I thought there was, Glenn, but you know what? After opening both those products back-to-back, -back, I wasn't going to absolutely swear to it because sometimes, you know, you get them mixed up in your head. And Stang Lover said you're still hurting over that $2,500 card that you lost in random. I know, man. I know. That's bad. I'm sorry. But you got a Kyle Kemp tonight. <laughs> well, okay. So there is that. But didn't the Saints have somebody else in there too? Didn't you have another? Didn't you have another guy in here with the Saints? I thought you did, but if you, I'll take your word for it. You you probably kept better track of it than I did by team, anyway. So, all right, guys. Well, that is it for me tonight. Once again, thank you for being here. I always appreciate it. I will be back at it tomorrow night. If I do not see you then, hopefully I will see you again soon. So take care, and we'll catch you the next time. Bye now.